what is going on guys i know a lot of you are worried about bitcoin's price today so i'm doing this video for you guys here in the intercontinental downtown miami i'm about to speak in about two hours i'm gonna go on stage do a workshop uh show some people uh show the people here how to trade and how to go about that how to get into trading how to start you know basically an introduction to bitcoin trading but I'm going to do a quick video today talking about this massive crash that we've seen over the last week. If you guys remember, on Friday, I told you guys that there was a possible pullback coming within the next, for the next two weeks. And I didn't call it the exact prices or exact timing, but I knew it was the second half of the month. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. So we're gonna talk a little bit about it. It's not gonna be a super long video. So let's jump right in. Hey, Jay here and welcome back to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the knowledge and resources to get you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, consider subscribing, make sure to turn on the notification bell as well, and everybody, make sure to smash the like button. All right, guys, so as you know, on Friday, last Friday's video, we spoke about a possible pullback that was coming in the second half of this month and that's where we're at right now one week later I don't like to be right about these things I don't like to call pullbacks but you know in the markets there's always going to be pullbacks all right so we look back at the chart that I show you guys on Friday that was we we're looking at these patterns over the last five months the pullbacks that that continue to happen over the, the back half of each month for the past five months so you see here if we take a look at the last four months you see here in january we had a pullback of 31 percent from its high when it reached its new all-time high to the low after the drop in the second half of january then if we move forward to february we had the same type of drop where we went to a new all-time high and then we had a pullback of 26 percent to the low after that all-time high then if we look back into last month, again, posted a new high, we printed a new high, and then had a pullback of 18.5%. And now this month, we've yet again gone to a new high and had a pullback in the back half of the month. If you guys notice, this pullback this month uh, has been around 27%. So we're still on the same track, literally the same exact pattern that we've seen over the last five months. It's repeating yet again. All right, so if we go ahead and look at the charts here, you can see that we set a new high here and then now we've currently been pulling back. So these are these lows have not been seen since all the way back in, let's see, when's the last time we saw this price? In March. We haven't seen these prices since March, which was last month in case you forgot, guys. So we are back and if you look here, I'm not gonna even try to get the, the drawing tool because this laptop is like about to explode right now from so much that I'm doing here. But if you guys look here, you, you can see my, my click, you can see that we are bouncing off that exact Fibonacci level, not only this Fibonacci level, but the second Fibonacci level that I have set up here, which is also happens to be this exact level where we had a bounce right here last year month so this is where I'm expecting for the bottoms to be I'm hoping that we can hold this price off here at that 50k level and bounce back up now of course although we're probably all hoping that this is it we all we also have to be you know we have to accept the reality of different case scenarios that could happen including a bearish one so in the bearish case scenario where we go lower than where we're currently at right now in this moment we can see a drop down to that 44,000 level if you see here on my chart you see that the next level that I have here set up is between that 44 to 42 thousand dollar level so that would be my very next um, target for a bounce if we were to continue down in this trajectory currently now if we see a bounce the big level that we have to watch that we're watching is going to be fifty thousand dollars that's the level that's the key area right there above 50 if we can break above 52 
that's what I'm looking at longs again. I'm looking for longs again after 52. We have to close the candle above it as well. We can't just test it. We gotta close above there uh, to show some more, some momentum and some strength uh, on a bounce back up. So those are the current levels that I'm looking at uh, in Bitcoin today. So I'm not even gonna talk about Ethereum today. Uh, Ethereum's just going to, for the moment, follow Bitcoin. As long as Bitcoin is at these levels and continues down, it's going to pull down the entire market with it, including Ethereum. Now, if we start seeing a bounce, Ethereum's also gonna bounce and it's probably going to outperform Bitcoin during that bounce. Um, so we can expect on a bounce, if we bounce on, if Bitcoin bounces from 50, up to 52 let's say between 52 to 55 we can expect ethereum to go back up to that 2500 dollars uh, range and possibly retest that previous all-time high as you guys know yesterday we broke all-time highs with ethereum but because of this pullback it pulled everything the whole market back down but if we do see a bounce here i'm expecting to see ethereum go back up to retest that 2500 level and retest that all-time high so as far as trade setups that I'm looking at this weekend, that first level is 50K. The issue with 50K is going to be a lot of price action, a lot of back and forth, a lot of fake outs. Um, so I'm not taking trades at 50K. It's just too much risk for me. Um, I'm looking for a trade above $52,000. So I'm gonna be looking for a, a trade right above this level. Above 52 is where I'm looking. And then of course, the next level I'm going to be watching is above $55,000 as well. That's my second uh, breakout trade. Now, in the event that we continue down, a bounce entry that I'm going to be looking for is at that $44,000 area, between 44 to 42,000. I'll be using both those levels as potential breakout, I mean, not breakout, as potential bounce entries. In the event that we see that case scenario where we test that uh, during the weekend. Now, guys, keep in mind, during the weekend, there's lower volume. So it's easier to move the market in either direction. Now, it's hard to tell. I can't, I wish I knew, you know, which way the market was gonna go. Unfortunately, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> you know, I can't tell these things. But from looking at the daily right now, um, if we pull up the RSI here, you see that the RSI is about to reach that oversold territory, okay? If we go here to the four hour chart, right? And we look at the four hour chart, it's right there at the edge of that oversold territory as well. Usually, when there's uh, when the RSI gets to this oversold territory, there's either a bounce or consolidation, but usually it doesn't continue down until the RSI is more in a neutral area. You can see here, when we had this, this drop over here, the RSI was in a neutral area, then it went oversold, and then it kind of went back into the neutral area. Then we had that dump last night, and it went back to oversold. Now it's climbing its way back up, so I expect it to at least get back to around that 40 to 50 uh, area in the RSI uh, before being able to dump further, is what I would guess. So currently, I don't think it's going to continue down. Doesn't mean it won't go. All right, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of uh, in a rush, but um, you know, I'm here at the conference right now. I'm about to go up on stage in about an hour, in about two hours, so I have to get prepared now. I'll be updating you guys on Instagram on you know the moves that Bitcoin does make. I might even jump on a live stream or something later on today or over the weekend uh, if I have some time. So I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop with anything, the next move that Bitcoin does. And if you're in my trade group, you already know I will be posting updates in there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. As always guys, I'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend. Peace and love.